Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. So, I thought about it. People were revealing to me, you know, once again, that if I put off all of Q's stuff till last, that means I'm going to have to do nothing but Q at the end, and that would kind of suck. So, we're going to do another Q one today. Um, I've gotten my Steam controller since last time we played, which actually works pretty well for this. So, I, I, I think this will sound less squeaky, perhaps. At least it'll be more interesting for me to control. Um, I don't know, these all look so great. Let's do this one. I'm sure this one will go well and nobody's gonna die, no one's gonna have to play some silly game that separates them from death. R radic Radical Six, yeah. Yeah, let me just let me just peek the microphone to death. That sounds good. Is that a pig on a pillow? That that is a pig. It's a pig. Good job. Glad we figured that one out. It's literally a dead pig. There's no danger to your life at the moment. それにしても君は悪いな。なんで地下の凶悪なウイルスが蔓延したりね。そんな時でも生き延びられるように、ウイルスとかの研究ができるようになってるのかも。なるほど。もしくは、ゼロが私たちに何かをするために用意したか。何かって。ここにある材料を使って、ディナー
getting lovely screen tearing in here. That's nice. Can I like not? Um, let me let me restart the recording really quick because this is this is pretty bad. I don't know if it's showing up in your guys' end or not. I might have fixed it. I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna just keep going for now and see if maybe that is okay. This drawer doesn't want to open. There's no spot for a key either. So maybe it's not supposed to? I think this is an analyzer. But it doesn't look like the power's on. I don't think a power cord's even connected. Then I doubt we can turn it on as it is now. There's nothing on the monitor. Hey, do you think we could use this computer to do research? I don't think so. Let's keep looking. No idea what that's for. Screen tearing seems to have gone away. That's actually probably pretty good. This chair doesn't have any armrest. I don't like it. I'm so ready to sink into my couch once we get out of here. If you get out of here. <laughs> You'll probably get out just fine. You won't get murdered or anything. This is a clean bench. It's poor prevent... It's... It's for preventing contamination of samples while working. What kind of contamination? Substances like microorganisms, bacteria, things that shouldn't get mixed into samples. I see. You really know your stuff. Some suspicious liquid. It won't explode if we mix it, will it? Oh, oh, like mad scientists do, right? Well, that is an old-fashioned reference. How do I rotate it with this? Ah, with that. Okay. The green liquid. I know there's a drink called... Aurojiru in Japan that's green like this. Aurojiru got its name from an old way of calling vegetables green plant. It tastes super bad. How do you know stuff like that? Just who are you, really? And pink liquid. Liquid. It's pink liquid. It's so bright. It's a popular color in nail salons. But okay, I'm glad we 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 thought we talked about that. Maybe we'll have to come back here and use this later. I don't think there's any point to putting that in there. Okay, well what if we just put nothing in there? What's this thing? It's a UV ir irradiator. It's used mostly for drying and strengthening adhesive materials. So not for toasting your skin to a beautiful tan then. <laughs> yeah, we'll chop your arm off and put it in there. Not a tanning bed. Hey, if you can figure out how to fit your body in there, be my guest. I don't think we're going to fit you in there attached. I can see pipes sticking out of the ceiling. I don't really like the style of decorating. We were looking at this earlier from that surveillance room, weren't we? I think. Gross. There's specimens everywhere. What are they doing with all these? Maybe just to freak out someone like you? <laughs> if only Zero was a fun prankster. Disgusting. <laughs> it's a specimen of some kind of plant. Maybe it's an experimental plant that can live in a polluted world. Sounds like the setup for a man-eating flower from a B-movie to me. The spot here doesn't have a specimen. Either nothing goes here in the first place, or what goes here was moved somewhere. Did we see any other specimen cylinders in this room? That upside down plant looks weird. I remember something from the last game like that. This is a seahorse specimen. What is a seahorse anyway? 
the kind of shrimp or starfish? Snake? Snake! It's, it's, it's a type of fish. It's hard to tell, but they do have gills. This is a butterfly specimen. Hey, that's weird. I can't move it. Looks like this is the only one locked in place. What could that mean? There's a penguin in there. It's so sad there in that specimen jar. Really, it's dead, so it doesn't really matter. Why is the penguin so small? Uh, oh god. <laughs> Don't like this backwards movement. Why the heck is Zero trapping us in here? Pounding on it's not going to help it open. Stop wasting time. We only have so much time and energy. Let's follow Zero's instructions for now. Four buttons. Each a different color. This might be... Simon says, you think if we get the combination right, this thing would open? I think so too. Let's try it. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh darn it. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I have no clue how to do this. Am I not lucky enough? It's really hard without any hint. He's right. Leaving it to luck is inefficient. <laughs> Tell that to Nagito. It's locked. In no keyhole that I can see. Does this even open? What about those buttons there? We may as well try them. I don't think this opens. Looks like it's the grown-up's turn now. Ding. Huh? It won't open. Maybe it's broken. Let's keep looking around. These look like they got the crap beat out of them. Maybe they're all jammed up. Yeah, yeah, they definitely have had the crap beat out of them. So it said to cut the pig's stomach open. That seems like it would reference this pillow, probably. Slash the pig's stomach, huh? What could that mean in a place like this? Hey, there's a dotted line on this pillow. Maybe we're supposed to slash this pig. Be a lot easier if it is. No harm in trying. As long as we can find some sort of knife. That'll probably be used in a murder later, I'm sure. This looks like a researcher's note. They must have been doing research on cells. I know. It's telling us to look at the cells in the microscope. Separating the liquids results in different colors? Okay, so we're going to see different structures for each of these colors. Hey, I want to see too. Hey, can you just shut it? This is why kids are... Give me a sec. Hmm. Can't see anything. How exactly are you going to see anything without the lens? Okay, so we got to find the lens. Why is only this one piece of the model red? It fell out and I barely touched it, I swear. Did I break it? Maybe we can use it for something. Let's take it. But a piece of DNA model. This piece has a weird hole in it. You're right. It's a heptagon. Can we use it with something? Sure, we probably can. This piece from the model. Doesn't it have a hole the same shape as the screws? 
I think we can unscrew with this. Oh, okay, there we go. I guess that's helpful. Yes, the cover's off. I'm sure that's useful. What are these lines in the back of the cover? Maybe that's just the pattern it has? Or someone drew on it? I feel like there's some meaning to them. So we got the cover off, but what exactly is this? Any ideas? I might have seen it before, or not. Maybe I would have known before I lost my memories. Well, didn't they say, yeah, it was a cover for a centrifuge, so these are probably where you put things to be centrifuged. So it should probably spin, I think. There sure are a lot of tools. I wonder what they're for. I don't think anything here is useful. Let's leave them then. Who knows what would happen if we moved them. Let's see. Set the dial to A to mix the liquid. Set the dial to B to separate the liquid. This must be the manual for the centrifuge. So maybe our our beakers actually have multiple like liquids in them? There are a lot of tools I don't know how to use. There's a sink. Oh, and some caster wheels at the bottom. Maybe we can move it. We can try. It's not moving an inch. Dang, I think it's locked in place. Oh, yes, perfect, our knife. Perfect for murdering. There's a sink on this thing. Hey, look, I found this in there. That knife looks pretty sharp. Maybe we can use it to cut open the pig's stomach? Ah, uh, good, good, a knife for stabbing. Don't point that thing at me. I've got, um, that thing. Bellanophobia. Eric, you know saying big words doesn't make you look smarter, don't you? No, Mira. Eric shrinking into himself. So what's that? The fear of, like, knives or something? Fear of pointy things? Fear of being stabbed? I think a lot of people have that. So I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing with that. Ow, oh, it's so bright. They're the only source of light in here. They have to be brighter. We can't see anything. Why not use ceiling lights? They work pretty well for people. Okay. So... That has wheels, too. Maybe we're gonna have to, like, drain out the chloroform or whatever it is in there. I don't know. I don't know what that stuff is. Um, but we can, at the very least, cut open the pig's stomach. And I bet that has another one of those tubey things in it. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Ready? Looks like there's a bunch of things inside. Let's take all of them. File on... Fanatic Bio R. The incubation period for this virus is extremely short. Mortality rate is 100%. Symptoms include blood erupting from the body, then death. Well, yeah, that'll do it, won't it? Blood erupting from your body? A microscope lens. We needed that. It's a microscope lens. We can use the microscope if we attach it. But why was this inside the pig pillow? No clue. Maybe because pigs eat anything? We got a power cord. Oh no, this power cord doesn't work with our power plugs. When it came out of the pillow, it looked like intestines. So disgusting. I wonder what this cord's for. What's this paper? 
Fanatic Bio R? Never heard of it. Ah, uh, but his silence tells many things. Okay. So let's get that. I think we can use this now. Let's look at something in the microscope. Well, unless we have a slide. Can't exactly look at them, right? Oh, I guess we do. So, they look like blobs? It's too fuzzy to see. Do we have to adjust the knobs? No. What are we supposed to do? Did you adjust the knobs properly? Or maybe we gotta separate it out in order to see anything with the centrifuge. That could be it. And the beaker's in place. Let's start the separating process. Looks like they cleanly separated. It's a red liquid. Kind of looks like blood. Not so sure about this. You mean like blood? It's a white liquid. Do you really grow taller when you drink a lot of milk? Let's make sure no one tries to drink this accidentally, okay? Maybe we'll see better with these. Okay, I see something inside the things now. All of the cells in the white liquid are by themselves. And the red ones are grouped together? The cells in the red liquid are in groups of three. This sounds like puzzle stuff to me. Is there a way to, um... No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see if there's an easy way to... Ah, there you go. So if you keep pressing that, you'll switch to different things. Alright, cool. And the beaker's in place. Let's separate. So we got a blue... I thought blue blood ran through veins when I was little. <laughs> Thanks for the input. It's a yellow liquid. Lemonade? Are you serious? Of course it is. Don't let anyone tell you different. Alright, the yellows are in groups of five. So that almost certainly is going to be a puzzle thing. <sighs> now as to what order you do them, I'm not sure as of yet, but that obviously is a puzzle thing. Um, what else? We had something else, I think. Yeah, we had the power cord. So let's plug it into this thing. Uh, I think this thing? Oh, the power turned on. But we can't use it yet. It looks like it's on standby mode right now. The cover over there opened up. What could that be? There's a thin hole on the side here. Maybe it'll turn on if we stick something in. Something thin and long. Like a knife? I think the knife will fit in this hole. Let's see. Hey, it fits perfectly. Yes, the analyzer's on. Can't believe using a knife for the lever actually worked. Me neither. And if we take the knife out, we can still use it. Oops. The blade broke off inside. And now it's useless as a knife. Idiot. Look what you did, dang it. How are we going to cut the pig open now? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull so hard. Ah, dang it, it's all over. Sarah's gonna kill us all now. What's done is done. The analyzer's still on at least. We'll find another way. What, do we need to stab somebody? This thing will analyze liquids, right? It'll show results if you put three dishes of liquid in. 
So let's do that and see what happens. Okay. I guess that was the wrong set. Was there a hint around here anywhere? Was it based upon like the clusters or something? Which I should probably start writing down. Oh no, I don't know where my pen went. Oh no! Alright, so I wrote down those, but it doesn't seem to be like the order one, two, three or anything. So let's see if we've maybe gotten not memo. Let's see if we've maybe gotten this already. Not that one. That's the manual. That does not have anything to do with here. Careful examination of the green and pink liquids reveals two different cell structures. Separating liquids results in different colors. Something is clear after inspecting the separated liquids under the microscope. The cell structure is unique for each color. So I think that's supposed to just urge you on to trying to separate them. But that doesn't exactly help with that. Is there anything else I learned so far? Does it let us combine? I think it, does it let us combine these back into like a new liquid? Oh, I got pink liquid. And if I separate it back out, does it go back to red and white again? I would assume so. So what if I start making new combinations? Like... White and yellow or something. I'm afraid it'll smell bad. So you do get new liquids. I don't really understand what the purpose of that is, though. Like, it seems to be a back-and-forth process. It's not- it's never a one-way thing. Is it possible to create a new color? Like, if we do blue and red, that would make purple, right? That's a new color. Looks like it was extracted from a vegetable. Doesn't look very healthy, though. I'm sure that's going to be part of a puzzle at some point. But it's too blurry for us to see anything when it's all together. So I'm sure that's part of a puzzle later, but I don't know what that does now. I'm not really sure this is... I'm not really sure I'd have the code for this yet, either. I don't really know an order, I just know that there's numbers... ...associated with these colors. Can I move these? Actually, what was that... what was this again? What's the meaning of the lines? Could represent they could represent numbers in themselves like the longest line could be a like a five if I'm trying to use that same number scale it doesn't really even it doesn't really go in there well Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure. Oh, will this fit in there? I didn't even okay. Centerfuge cover. Well, we can try it at least. Won't this like spark? Okay, why did we do that? Letters appeared on the cover. They did? Oh. Hey there. Ah, I see. Word showed up after it was hit by UV radiation. And what are these circle things? Are they dishes? Orange, blue, white, and dishes. So yeah, it's orange, blue, and white, I think would be the order, maybe. Does that mean we're gonna have to combine colors? Hold on a second. So if we put in that in the red one, that should make an orange liquid. Right? Yeah. Which just was a glass of orange juice. I'd love to be eating breakfast right now. So we start off with the orange and then we do the test tubes for the blue and the red. Let's put this liquid in. Was it, no, it was blue and white, right? Oh good, a fetus. <laughs> no matter how bad the situation is, solving a problem always cheers you up. There's something in there. It's a baby. A specimen cylinder. Looks like there's a human fetus inside. A fetus? What's wrong? Why are you turning your head away like that? Oh good, that's what I wanted. This is a human fetus specimen. I think it died before birth. I always think too much about these kinds of things and then I get all sad. Are you crying? Well, we found our last specimen at least. A perfect fit, but nothing's happening. Maybe the positions are wrong. Maybe there's a right order for these. Let's see if we can change them around. Do I have any clues as to where this is supposed to be yet? And the butterfly can't move, I remember that. Oh, darn it. What should we do? Maybe there's something we need to follow here. Are there any clues lying around? As far as I can tell, I did a clean sweep of the area. Did we have any clues yet that said anything? Not really? I don't think. Oh wait, what's this? I forgot this came on. What are these symbols? Five symbols with five colors, all different. It could be a hen. So these are obviously, I don't know if it's necessarily in order, but they're obviously corresponding to the different colors. So maybe that... Maybe the different colors of liquid are respond or corresponding to different like species. Maybe. Okay, so for all of these we've got test tubes already that correspond to numbers in terms of cells. The exception of being pink, pink is a combination of red and white. Red is three, white's one, so maybe that's four. In which case I would have numbers from one to five. I don't know if that necessarily corresponds here, but let's take a look. So, one was the white dragonfly. We're already not doing well. 
Because I can't move that. That would be the closest thing to a dragonfly. The bird was yellow, that was five. The shark was pink, that's four. This is kind of like a seahorse. They're both like sea animals. There's a red flower, which was three. I mean, it's kind of like a plant. Human was two. Um, but I don't, whoops, wrong button. But I don't really know uh, how that's supposed to correspond. I mean, even if you literally take the order it was showing on the screen, that's just not going to quite work either. Because that... Whatever it is, this this butterfly thing is getting in my way at the moment. Which doesn't necessarily mean that... It's, um... It's wrong. But whatever I'm currently using as my scale is wrong. I keep saying search the room some more. But I've already searched everything, I think. Nothing stuck to the roof. It's referring to the specimens on the shelf. Fish, plant, insect, bird, and the human we just got. Fish. Yeah, fish is the shark. Yeah, and plant is that red thing. It's in each category. Alright, so looking at a steam guide, <laughs> once again I got stuck. Apparently I should have all the information I need to do this. So we press the white button once. And press the blue button twice. Press the red button three times. And we press the yellow button five times. That is not the yellow button. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> I, for some reason, that just didn't click for me. It's unlocked. Good job. Pretty amazing for a kid your age. I won't lose next time. Suck it, scumbag kid. What's this box? Oh, this looks like a puzzle. Transparent specimens. I think we can fit all of these in the box. Let's find out. the X. Is X saying that's where you're supposed to have it collide with an X on the board? Or is this another puzzle where we have to fill up the entire space with things? Because I remember the, that on that other puzzle, there were X's too and I had no idea how to make how that was supposed to work, I think. But there were dots or something. I was very confused. I'm just going to fail it and see if they give me somewhat of a hint as to what the X's correspond to. They aren't fitting right. Yes, I get that. Give me a hint. You just need to match the red and blue X's, right? You have to start with the big pieces. Okay. So we need to match the red and blue X's. That's not, um, that's not, uh, like the kind of thing where it's, uh, what am I trying to say? It's not, they don't have to be only, like, if I'm covering other pieces, is that bad? I don't know. That's <laughs> stupid matching puzzles. Complete the specimen puzzle. Oh, thanks for the tip, friend. 